1991, uh, the former president was coming to Kibera to do the uh, laying foundation of the AIC church, which is at Olympic, which is very near to this market. So we were mobilized by the area chief to go to along the road, to the along the road, and uh, with the president while he's passing. So we went there and uh, we did the, the waving and uh, singing. So he stopped and asked what it is, and uh, he was uh, informed by the former uh, area councillor that these are uh, small traders who do their businesses and at the open air. So sometimes they get problems when there is rain, they cannot continue with their business. And uh, sometimes when it is very dry, they cannot pass a fear the, 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 the dry season. So he requested him that if he can assist uh, the, the, the traders to get a permanent market. So the president immediately told the, the PC who was accompanying him that Please, I would like you to consider these people and get a space here. And we do the, 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 the permanent market for them. And after a few months, uh, some surveyors were sent here and they came and surveyed the land. And they set aside a piece of land which is neighboring this market. So the, the planning started, the construction also started. and. Uh, the, the construction of the uh, stalls was completed in 1995. So after the completion of the stalls, most of the traders had also increased in this site. So the number was increasing every time because of uh, people who come from up country looking for jobs. Some of the people uh, would drop out of their work because of uh, some maldiscipline or, or sometimes termination of the, 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 the work. So they, some of them, they come and join business, some are single matters. So the number was increasing all the time. So one day, the person was coming to Moigals. This is the Easter secondary school here. And then after two to three days, we got a report from the 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 DO who sent the, the the assistant chief that uh, he would like to see that people have moved from this market to the, the new stalls. And the, the problem which was there is that uh, after the completion of the stalls, there were there were no information and there, there was no no clear uh, uh, allocation of. Uh, of the stalls that uh, such and such uh, day you will be the beneficiaries of this. There is nobody was informed. People were just waiting and see how they will be allocated. Uh, the, 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 the report was that we close this market and we move to the new market. And people were asking how? Because the stalls are earmarked, they have numbers, so how can you invade? A market which you have not been given a guideline on how to which store you are going to occupy, who is going to occupy number one, who is going to be number one. But we came to realize that uh, already they had planned for allocation and they had done it, and uh, most of the beneficiaries of the stalls were people from uh, the community who are not business people, the, the, the Nubians, and the market itself was called Kibera Hokas market and they were saying it is meant for the women and when we did the research and they got the, the list of beneficiaries we got uh, it had about 192 stalls and the 192 stalls some of them were allocated to the officers in the chief's office the DO's office the DC's so most of them they were beneficiaries and other chiefs from other locations so we resisted that we will not go there unless and otherwise we have been shown exactly where to, to operate. So that is the time when I started uh, organizing a group of people because uh, the officials who are in charge as the chairman had already been, uh, been, uh, been uh, co-opted with the chief 
to be part of the beneficiaries, but it was not a clear uh, uh, procedure. They were cheated that they would benefit from that, and they would get stalls. So they were used to make sure that we are, they we are evicted from this. Because once you are a chairman of the market, you are the one to give the, the people guidelines that the government is helping us. Please, we should not resist. We are supposed to go there and occupy the stalls. And then now, because people were, were curious about it, because uh, already we had people who had ran there. Those people from the community came, like today, because we were given a notice, they did some um, marketing, they did uh, the, uh, they, 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 they surveyed our businesses and they saw how we spread our businesses. So they purchased some of the items, like vegetables, onions. So they went there earlier. Before we moved, already they had, because they knew their stores, everybody was occupying his space or our space. But those ones which were given the, the officers from the government side, like the office of the chief or the DOs, because they were civil servants, they never came to, to occupy their space, were just left vacant. So some of the traders from Toy Market were asking questions, are we, are we supposed to go and uh, occupy any space? But we said, no, you see those numbers are given to somebody. And we had done the, the research through Kitoja Sharia. And by that time, we, we, we started working with Chen Weru, who was working with Kitoja. So she helped us to move here and there. And we used to do uh, private meetings because the area chief didn't want to see any group resisting because uh, making people move from this land to create space for handicrafters, it was like he was going to be given a, a present for doing a good work to evict people so that the, some of the landowners can uh, get their land. So we, we after the expiring of the, 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 the notice, it was on 14th June 1996, midnight. Some officers were located here, the policemen and the administration police. So when people came very early in the morning, around 5, to start doing the, the, the farming products, selling them, because those ones are the, the business which starts very early in the morning. The clothes, normally they come at, at 6, uh, 7 a.m. So you find that the police officers are saying, today there is no market here, please go to the other side. So those people, because that time the, the chiefs were very powerful, so there was no resistance. Some of the people were just moving very easily. So they occupied some spaces in the market, which were very open, were not planned for, for business. Some of them, they occupied the, the, those stalls which were not operating. So some of our members were not there. So the demolition of structures was done, and uh, most of the things were stolen here. So when we were there, for one week, their life was very hard, because those uh, village elders who, stay, who more normally work with the chief, they were there monitoring the movements of the people. Sometimes they tell you, you're not supposed to spread your business here, move from here to that space, move from here go to this. So they were harassing people. And those people who come uh, from uh, uh, up country, uh, like the old sellers who come with, uh, with uh, tomatoes, vegetables, they were, they were, there was no space inside the market. So they were selling outside the market and they were just forced to, to go away. So there was a lot of harassment. That's 1996 as from June, July to August, about two months. So we managed by that time to to use a center. There is a center which is next to this uh, area uh, where we went and hided ourselves. We raised some money and uh, we we paid to Jashalia so that now Chen can, can, can represent us in court. And then we went to court. The first uh, mentioning, the area chief did not come. The second mentioning, he came to represent the government. So when the hearing started, he was unable to, to explain to court the process, how it went, 
when you move people from one place to another, what was the procedure and what was the intention? It's just to say that the, the, the government was uh, giving people the market, the traders the market. So it is a presidential market, so there is no way people were to operate to two markets at the same area, and yet the government has built the market. But he was asked, are you, were you sure that those people were on the other side uh, were, were beneficiaries of the, the new market? He was unable to answer because he knew only six people from the market was, uh, were beneficiaries of the, the stalls. After going for hearing for about two, two times, the judgment was given that the, the chief had no had no I had not had done nothing wrong to to evict us from this land because we were taken to the new market. But the problem was the market was not was not enough for the number of traders who were the other side. So for those ones who are who benefited in the allocation of the new stalls they should continue doing their business. And those ones who are not the beneficiaries of the market, they should remain in toy until the government uh, plans for them. So we, we started singing from the court. We hired about three vehicles, and we sang until the market, and then we, we, we attracted a big crowd from the other side of the market because they knew that side was not a business area. So when they found that now we were singing and saying we have won the case and we are supposed to be in our market, those ones who, are, who got the stalls there, they can remain there. So even those ones who are beneficiaries, they ran away from that. So we came back and uh, told the people that now you go back to your space. If you know where you are doing your business previously, please go back to that space. And if you are a newcomer, and look for a space which has not been used by anybody because we don't want any conflict. So we encourage people to continue doing their business here.